A huge thank you to Case Filters for sponsoring this week's video. to capture long exposure seascapes with the Case Magnetic Filter System off the coast of San Francisco and witness an unexpectedly beautiful sunset. We are also giving away a filter kit this week, so make sure to stay tuned towards the end for more information on that. And as always, really hope you enjoy the video. Well, beautiful day today for some photography. It's uh, really cloudy. Nice cloud textures going on right now. And I'm actually at the Cliff House, which is in between Sutro Baths and Ocean Beach in San Francisco. Right now I have my telephoto lens uh, focused on a perspective looking south towards Ocean Beach. And it's a gorgeous view. You look just straight down the coast towards Pacifica. And I thought it would be a nice opportunity to do some long exposure photography, really blur out the waves, give the image a little bit more of a surreal look. If I zoom in here, you really get a good perspective on all those people just kind of fluttering around the beach. Some nice dappled light going on right now. Really beautiful. You know, I think it might also be worth trying a polarizer on here too. Okay, so here is the uh, filter adapter, the magnetic adapter for the filters. There we go. Let's try the CPL filter. I mean, the sky already looks really beautiful, looks nice and dramatic, but as we twist the CPL, you can really see the richness come in in the sky. There's back with, with the CPL off, and then twisting it to really give that drama to the sky. I like that. Yeah, I think we're gonna keep the CPL on here. And then in addition to the CPL filter, we're gonna use a 10 stop. Just clamp that on right there. Oh, I made a mistake. So <laughs> I have autofocus on, and I was trying to click the shutter, and I forgot the autofocus was on, so uh, the picture's now blurry. So I got to take the 10 stop off, which normally I would have to unscrew the entire kit and then, you know, focus the camera, then screw it back on. Luckily, these are magnetic. Why not just go for a 30 second exposure here just to see what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and set my camera on a timer mode and just click the shutter and let it go. So for this image, I really liked the way the long exposure blurred out that water and created that beautiful, surreal look. But I realized the beach was a little bit messy with some of those car trails and other elements. Now, a lot of you in the past have asked me to do more black and white photography. Admittedly, I don't do a lot of it, but I thought this might be the perfect image to convert into black and white. So here is my darker black and white conversion, really focusing in on that shoreline. I felt like those two figures that are standing in the water were kind of a perfect element to highlight in this composition using some dodging and burning, and also some of the clouds in the distance. After I captured this image, I decided to zoom in a bit to about 200 millimeters and really focus in on people walking down the shoreline. And here's what I shot. This image was a lot of fun to capture. I loved the patterns and lines here created by the crashing waves on the shore and how you have those three strips of the brighter waves, darker sand, and then brighter dry sand on the left side. I went with a 1.3 second exposure here just to 
give a little bit more motion in the waves and also blur out the figure slightly to create that anonymity, but also still give that sense of motion and not have the person be so blurry that they end up just a ghost through the frame. The conditions right now are just getting better and better. There's some really nice dappled light, um, beautiful golden light just kind of raking across the landscape with some really dark clouds overhead and I just can't help myself. I think I'm gonna do a time lapse of this right now. Um, so I'm gonna do a similar composition to the photos I was shooting. I love those waves coming in. I mean, that's the main focus is, is these beautiful waves coming in. I think actually something like that could be a really great composition. Um, you still get the mountain range in the background, which is something I definitely want to include. And I think we're going to see some really nice motion with the people just walking up and down the beach. Yeah, I, th I think this is going to be my composition. I'm going to do a two second interval. So I want my shutter speed to be a little lower than that, but I still want a long exposure. I want to see a little bit of blur in the waves. You want that nice smooth flow. And now I'm going to pop over to interval timer shooting and we're going to do about 450 shots here. After I captured that time lapse, I wandered around for a little bit and found some other interesting long exposures to shoot. So as that sun got lower on the horizon, it created such beautiful colors to witness, and I knew that this sea stack out in the distance is something that I would want to focus on. I loved the reflection of the sun through the water and how the sea stack makes that little jagged shadow towards the bottom of the image. The sky color is gorgeous right now, and so I'm gonna switch to uh, 16 to 35 and uh, get a few shots of this nice sky color over this really beautiful sea stack. So I'm going to go ahead and use an ND64 on here to get a slight long exposure. And I'm thinking for this composition, I'm going to try probably including more sky. I love this beautiful sky up above and then maybe like uh, give or take one third of the water down below. Five seconds looks nice, but I think I'm going to just go ahead and try to really smooth out the water by doing a 30 second exposure here. I don't think I could have asked for better conditions right now. These are just beautiful colors. As sunset faded, I kept clicking exposures, and this ended up being one of the last images that I shot. There were still some beautiful red tones in the clouds, but what I loved so much about this image were those soft pastel gradients in the sky. I didn't expect the sunset to be that good. <laughs> I was just excited about doing those long exposures. And to be honest, actually, before I left to come out here, I almost didn't go. I almost somehow convinced myself not to go take pictures, which um, I'm sure you've done this before, where you're sitting at home, you're comfy, you're looking outside and you're like, ooh, I should go take pictures. I wanna go take pictures. And then you, you, know, you keep going back and forth. You're like, should I go take pictures or should I stay? Should I go take pictures, should I stay? And eventually you get to the point where you've done that for so long 
that you've missed the opportunity to actually go take pictures. That was almost me today. I almost didn't go. I don't know, hopefully this inspires you. If you're, if you're in one of those moods, maybe you're watching this video and you're in one of those moods where you're not sure if you should go shoot or not, definitely go shoot. Definitely just, just break that habit. Don't you know have that internal debate anymore. Just go take pictures. Because chance, even if sunset isn't great, you're probably still gonna have a good time. So we're giving away a kit with an ND64 CPL filter and an ND8 CPL filter. Both are magnetic. So please make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and then respond to this prompt in the comment section. Tell me about one of your favorite times out taking photographs. This could be a short story or a longer one if you have more details that you want to share, but just tell me about a time that was special when you were out taking photographs and maybe why that occasion was so special to you. I'm going to go ahead and announce the winner in my community section on Sunday, so make sure to look out for that. So this video was filmed a few months ago and I've had a lot of time to use the Case magnetic filters and I will say they have become a permanent fixture in my camera bag and the main reason for that is just the ease of use. They're so simple to take on and off the camera. Even during this video right here, I had to switch from the 10 stop to the 6 stop to the CPL and I was constantly removing filters and adding new ones on and stacking them. So I have started using these for pretty much every shoot. As always, I really appreciate you watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Yeah, look at that. Look at that color. Awesome.